Hi everybody, my name is Morgan and I'm going to do a video today on how to make the bassoon sound super spooky and creepy, all while wearing this really rad dragon onesie. So in case nobody knows what a bassoon is, here's one. It's super long, super wooden, has a lot of keys, very shiny. And fun fact, when I first started playing this instrument, it was taller than me. <laughs> so it's very big. You've got to use a lot of air to produce a sound out of it. So how I make a sound is I blow through this double reed. It's called a double reed because there are two reeds on top of each other and they vibrate really fast. The sound and air go through this vocal all the way down to the bottom of the instrument. It curves all the way up and out this hole right here. So in case nobody knows what a bassoon sounds like, here's a little snippet. So yeah, as you can hear, the bassoon already has a very deep, rich, kind of creepy tone to it. It can also get very high, but I won't hurt anyone's ears today with the high notes. <laughs> so how to make the bassoon sound creepier is by doing half note trills, and I'll show you what that is in a second, and by getting really loud and then really soft again. So here's what that would sound like. To make that sound is I'm fingering, this is C, I'm fingering C, and I'm trilling, which just means I'm moving my finger really fast to change the note. I'm trilling it to a B. So it goes really fast. Here's another one that's a little bit lower, might sound kind of creepier. And so for that one, Doing the same thing, but I'm trilling with my thumb and I'm hitting this pancake key. One of my favorite keys, because I love pancakes. But I'm trilling it really fast in order to make that creepy sound come out. Spooky, right? So another way to make the bassoon sound creepy is by playing multiphonics. And that just means that a bunch of different notes are going to come out all at the same time and it's going to sound a little crunchy to the ear. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, it's not the most pleasant sound to hear out of the bassoon, but it is written in a lot of music that I've played. So that also makes it sound very creepy and spooky. If you play all of those together, here's what that would sound like. had a lot of fun with me today learning a little bit more about the bassoon and making it extra creepy. So I hope all of you have a very fun and safe Halloween.